Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. Often I'm placed into situations where I need to explain the role of a data warehouse and how an organization can benefit from its use. So to answer this, I'm going to share some common scenarios or problems that we see data warehouses addressing. First, let's talk about where your data is being stored. If you trace your data back to the moment that it got created, you're likely to find a person in your organization putting that data in, whether it's an accountant or a sales rep or even a line worker. Those applications that those people are using are specifically designed to take in one record at a time. Now when you need to know how you performed last quarter, you need the application to cough up a lot of data, possibly millions of rows. If you made that request during the middle of the day, chances are you'd cause all the users of the application to get something like this. And even if you were able to ask for those millions of rows, you might as well go and take the day off to let it process. Remember, these application databases are designed to take in one row of data at a time, not to cough up millions of rows. Second, nearly every organization has more than one data source. There are accounting systems, operation systems, sales management systems, and the list goes on and on. But if you zoom back, wouldn't you agree that all these systems work towards a common cause? I mean, doesn't the body of these systems represent a collective goal, strategy, or mission statement? But in practice, without integrating this data, you essentially have a series of organizational silos. And producing meaningful correlations between these silos is not only inefficient, but as you'll see in this presentation, full of one-off mistakes. That brings us to our third point, and that is, you're doing it anyway. If you think about it, because these systems do represent an organization with a single goal or mission statement, somebody in the organization is having to play the role of bringing this information together when the data needs to be refreshed. And sometimes this somebody is more often an army of siloed employees. This is a good time to reinforce our second point. This army of siloed employees bringing data together for their own purposes doesn't just end there. This is the information that's getting bubbled up to management and leads to those infamous meetings where nothing gets done because everybody has their own version of the truth. So you can start to see that a data warehouse is really a way for the organization to accurately identify itself. Not as a series of independent silos, but more as a cohesive operation. Additionally, you'll notice that data warehouses have centralized logic, which reduces the need for manual data integration. This gives that army of siloed employees the answers they need without each one inventing their own way of gathering the data. In turn, management comes to meetings ready to address problems because they can agree on what the data is saying. Intricity specializes in the implementation of data warehouses. I encourage you to visit Intricity's website and speak with one of our specialists. Furthermore, if you're looking for a trusted service partner, I recommend that you speak with Intricity's customers. A high percentage of Intricity's data warehousing practice is generated through their enthusiastic endorsements.